Um, listen, it's lovely chatting with you. You too. Um, this is for an STV special going out to the whole of Scotland as we speak. That's great. So there I'm so you go. Excited. So all the fans will be like, if, they're, if they're not at the cinema, they'll be watching, they'll be watching this. <laughs> yeah, yes. You see, no, they going. went last night, right? So yeah, right, we were going exactly. on. So, right, so, so coming to such a big franchise, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, were you at all worried about taking on the might of the mighty fan base out there? Because, you know, there's a lot of expectations. Totally. I know. You know, like early on, I was like in touch with the fan base and that was incredibly helpful to me because there's so much a presence online. And I got to say, this is the most interactive movie fan base relationship I think I've seen. Like one of the messages I got when I first got involved, I heard over and over again was like, don't water this book down. The book is crazy. It's like goes to incredibly wild places, you know. And I think people were were worried that it would turn into a kind of a bland version of that. And I hope they don't feel that when they see it. Because there are the cynics out there saying, "Ah, oh, they're splitting the film into two. They're going right. to make more money." But but everything's there, isn't it? It's not. It's not a case of that. Were you ever worried that you wouldn't have enough content? to make it into two movies or is it just purely a case of that it's given exactly the fans what they want yeah no my worry has always been like how do we get you know this into the four hours that I have honestly there's no filler in this because look at this first movie okay Bella gets married she goes on her honeymoon she gets pregnant she gives birth other things happen somebody dies um, all of that's in one movie. It's incredible. It, it's like everything that's been built up in the other movies sort of happens here and I mean, I suppose you could split the film into three as well. We've right. got the the wedding, the honeymoon, and then the birth of the baby. Right. And the wedding, particularly, you were talking about the fans yes. online. Yes. The buzz about that, I right. mean, has been incredible. Right. You know, any little snippet, you know, fans, you know. Yeah. I mean, what was the secrecy? Uh, how, how was it keeping that under wraps, basically? Well, here's the cool thing. Okay, it's Friday night now, but but you know, up until today. Nobody had seen that wedding dress. And that, I can't tell you how hard it is to keep a secret like that in the world that we live in, you know. And it was, it was kind of weird because when Kristen first walked down the aisle, suddenly we heard this stuff and there was a helicopter high up, but it was paparazzi. And we immediately had this thing where we covered everything. We stopped it. We got, you know, sort of, I don't know how exactly we convinced them to finally move on, but... That was somehow people were aware of the fact that 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 was finally going to be exposed. But, you know, no one even on the set, on the location, saw her until she took that uh, walk down the aisle. We had her in this room, which was covered. It was it was it was a really like, you know, super secret thing. So even the cast around their reaction when they saw the first time was the first time as well. Absolutely. Same for our pats. That's correct. That's right. Yeah. Ah, yeah. It was very cool. It is amazing what the fans can find out. I mean, I spoke to my niece, who's a huge fan right. of this, and said, I saw the movie, you'll love it. I said, I'm not going to tell you what the last shot is. And she told me exactly what the last <laughs> shot is. And I'm going to have yeah, you know. I know, I know. That one's out there already. Yeah. But you know what? I think if she loves the books, you kind of figure out that's the right place to end the movie. You know, and I, I you know, it, it, it seems like a, I, I think it was, you know, where it had to end. Um, now, through all the films, it has imbued, and the books as well, it has imbued this uh, sense of old-fashioned values, yes. which sort of flies in the face of what's coming out of Hollywood at the moment, right. and, and, and has been for years and years and years. Yeah. And yet the fans love that. They embrace that. Why yeah. do you think that is? I don't know, because I have to say, too, even the way that this movie is made, you know, it isn't, there's not any irony to it, you know? It's like, it's really, it's like a great romantic movie from a classic, like, Hollywood period, you know? And that's what I loved about it, is that it just completely embraces what it's about. But I think because it's so different from, from everything else, you know? Also, you got to say, for your niece, for so many people, to have, like, a woman at the center of this story, you know? And it's about what what she cares about most is very rare when you see, you know, most movies are made for, you know, 13-year-old boys. And Kirsten, particularly, is brilliant in this. Oh I'd love God. to chat with her to, you know, yeah. to get her opinion on, on not, not just the gist, but the process that she goes through to yeah. have this baby. I know it's yeah. all CGI, but she looks, she looks like go- she turns into Gollum. You <laughs> know what I mean, I mean, how did you achieve that? Yeah, it was some CGI, but it's mostly Kirsten's acting. You know, the thing about the CGI is it's very subtle. I think you get the feeling like, like how do you do it? Like instead of like watching a special effect, but she was, oh my God, she was just so intensely into all of this. You know, she's an amazing actress, um, and she. She would always, you know, for example, in the birth scene or the scene where what happens after, I won't give that away, but but uh, she never got up. She would just lie there until we called lunch. She'd be there four or five hours at a time. That's how she committed, how committed she was to just being in that mode. Suffering for her, I think, is Absolutely. what they call it, don't they? Yeah, I got to say, you know, her whole way of working is 
there's no one who's tougher on Kristen Stewart than Kristen Stewart. She has such an incredible, like, high bar that she sets for herself. And it's great to watch her when she finally knows that she hit it. We should say to the viewers and the fans, when the end credits begin, yes. they should not leave. Do not leave the theater. No, there's a real treat. There's a real, like, sneak of what's going to happen in, in movie two at the end of the credits. And what is going to happen in the movie? Because that's the Volturi, isn't it? Yeah, that's, totally. that's, that's all going to... Totally. And are you finished? Are you completed? Are you are no. you wrapped? Is everything no. all edited? We sh- no, we shot the movie. I'm editing it now. I was in the editing room yesterday. I'm going to go back in two days. Uh, so we're in the middle of cutting that together. But the big thing about the second movie is that it tells you about vampires in this whole franchise. It, I, I'm sorry. The big thing about the second movie, it tells you about vampires across the world. So if you first discovered vampires like the Middle Eastern vamp, I mean, the, the, the I'm sorry. If you first discovered vampires like Bela Lugosi and Dracula, there, there are those vampires from that part of the world. There are vampires, if you're a Hammer vampire Dracula fan, there are vampires from England. There are vampires from France. There are vampires from Egypt. You know, it's like this incredible, like, meeting of... of a smorgasbord of vampires. Exactly. How is that? It's very cool. and It's epic. Brilliant stuff. It's been lovely chatting with you, you Bill. Too. Good luck you with too. the film and good luck with part two. We'll look forward to that good. for next year. Okay, week. great. Cheers, man. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye-bye. Excellent. Okay.